Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see the practical representation of this git pull command. Now I am taking this git remote repository. So we have already created. Now I am opening the git bash. So here is the git bash. What I will try to do is so right now I am in the main branch. What I will try to do is so let's check the status of this one. Yeah, it is up to date with the origin main. If we try to check the branches so we are having login fix and also the registration branches we are having and if we try to check the local repositories sorry i kept so here if i check right check yeah we are having the local repository also in track with the origins so now let me clear out this one so now what i will try to do is so here so let's see we are having in the main branch we are having two files readme index and lira three files we are having so let's try to add some uh, add some data so for example what i will try to do, i will try to add a file create a new file okay so just i will create a file so main.txt something like this so i am creating a main.txt file fine done so main.txt file has been created fine now let me check here so ls if i try so here i am having the only three files so previously how the how it was it was having like this only so readme index.txt and lila.txt so three files we are having there is no main.txt file. Now what I will try to do, I will try to do the git fetch. So git fetch, it will try to get all the details. So now it got the new commit. So now if I try to check the status here, so here it is telling that it is behind by one commit it is telling. So if I try to type the ls, still we are having, we don't have the main.txt file. Why? Because we didn't type the git pull, we have did only the git fetch. So now I will try to do the git pull. So git pull, Sorry, git pull and the remote origin and the main. So if I do this git pull, see here. So now it is updating. So it is fast forwarding main.txt file has been added. Now if I try to check the ls, so he now we are able to see this main.txt file. Okay. So this is the how we will be doing the pull command. So for example, see, I opened this main.txt file. Okay. So if you try to check this log also, git log hyphen hyphen one line. And here we are able to get create main.txt file the commit also we got it so now what i will try to do is so here in this one i will try to change the main.txt file so for example main.txt changes from local okay so this is the text i have added here so let's try to add it and let's try to commit it updated sorry updated main from local okay so update main from main text main file from local okay so i have made the commit now if you try to check the status so our our branch is ahead of the origin slash main fine now what i will try to do so somebody has also committed here so for example if i try to check here so if i try to uh, check here so some of the some some of the guys has already Completes are in the main.txt file. Let's assume. So now I will open this main.txt file. I will try to edit this changes. So now changes from remote. So I am committing this file. Update main.txt. Update main main.txt from remote. Okay, that's it. So now what I will try to do here. Yeah, so commit the changes so now somebody has committed the changes so now let's try to pull those changes right so now i will try to fetch those changes first or otherwise you can directly pull those changes also just i am doing the fetch so now it is getting the data okay now what i will do so i will try to do git pull origin main so now when i try to do see here what is the problem i got it so there is a conflict so now in the local repository we have a new commit that is update uh, main from local and also from the what we can say from from the remote repository also we got a we we have edited the same file so now the conflicts has arisen so we need to merge the conflicts so if you try to check the status here so git status so we are having the main.txt as a modified so let's try to open the main.txt file same thing how you will be how you will be resolving the conflicts in the same scenario we can do it so this is the head so this is the head means the, uh, this is the change we are having in the local and this is the changes from remote we got it from the remote 
so now if you want you can delete this one okay i am deleting this thing i want to keep both the changes okay so i will delete these all the things so i will delete these all the things now i will try to change commit so now here what i will do so git add and git hi hyphen m so merge conflicts okay resolve uh, or otherwise merge conflicts resolve so a new commit has been made so now what i will try to do so these changes i need to push it so if i try to check the status if i try to check this as nothing is there so our branch is ahead by two commits now one commit is from the update main.txt from local and another commit is the merge commit what is what is the commit we have made so if i try to check git log hyphen hyphen one line so here you will be able to see see that we got the remote that uh, commit also we got it from the remote and also we have from the local this is the commit we need to send it to the remote and also another new commit that is nothing but solving the merge conflicts so now what we will try to do so git push origin main so i am trying to push it so let it push it so it is trying to push it yeah it has successfully pushed now if i try to see the output here if i go to the git remote see it has been updated so git merge conflicts resolve has been updated so if i try to see the code so now if i try to see the commits you will be able to see that update main.txt from remote and update main file from local and also merge conflicts resolve so these three commits are they are there in the remote repository you are able to see so this is how we will be doing the pulling pulling request so if a if same changes are there in the same file means if the conflicts arises means so like this we need to resolve and another thing what we can do is for example here we are we are uh, we are in the main branch means so you can add it as a short short shorter syntax also you can add this shorter syntax also now what it will try to do is so it will try to try to take the origin as the remote and also the branch branch so current branch where you are is the main right so for this it is the tracking tracking remote is nothing but what we can see so the tracking is with the origin main so it will take that origin main as the remote remote branch so now if i try to take git pull so it will try to get the data from the origin main for example uh, i am in the git branch for example let's see i am in the registration let's see okay so i am in the registration switch to the branch registration so if i try to check the status here sorry status here it is up to date now what i will try to do here let me go to the remote and let me go to the registration and i will I will try to change it something like registration new. I will edit this file. Okay. So I will commit the changes. Okay. So now one new commit has been made in the git remote. Now let's try to fetch these details. So how I can fetch the, how can I fetch these details? So doing this git pull. So git fetch we can do it or otherwise directly you can type the git pull. So there is no need to write origin registration. So we are in the registration batch. So it will try to push, it will try to get the details from the origin okay from the remote and also it will add it to merge it into the directly into the registration so if i try to press git pull so see it got the data and registration new dot dxt so the changes has been we got it from here so this is the shorter syntax of this git pull command so git pull when you are typing this git pull means you need to understand that default the remote will be origin and also the remote tracking so what is the remote tracking for this branch so it may be origin slash registration or otherwise you can set it to origin slash login or something some some other remote we can you can also set it but no, normally what we'll try to do is we'll try to maintain the names different the names same for the local for the local branch and also for the remote repository we'll try to maintain the same name so that to avoid the confusion we will be maintaining the same names so here it will try to get the data from the origin slash registration and it will try to merge it into the local registration branch okay this is the shorter syntax so hope you understood about this git pull command if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.